Hi everyone and welcome to another Techie Tea Book with Inverclyde Libraries. This week we are going to look at two websites that are full of really good information about cyber security and online fraud. So today we are going to look at the Action Fraud website and on Thursday we will look at the National Centre for Cyber Security's website. So to get into this first of all I'm going to go into Chrome here because I'm using an Android device. You might be on an Apple device so just whatever internet browser you use whether that's Safari or Google Chrome or any other available one. So we'll just click on Chrome and this is the website here. So I got here just by entering the website address at the top actionfraud.police.uk but if you're just in a Google search, if you just search for Action Fraud, it will bring this up. So this website is the national website for reporting fraud and cybercrime. So you can see that it's got a contact number at the top where you can phone in and speak to an advisor. Or you can also, if you look at the bottom right of the screen here, you can see that there is a square there with two kind of speech bubbles in it. And if you click on that, it gives you a live chat. So it's quite handy if you find that you have maybe stumbled on something online that you think has has been dodgy or if it's something that you feel like you've maybe clicked on that you shouldn't have or if it's something that's just a genuine fake website or an attempt to steal your information you can report it here. So to navigate the website you just go to the three lines here which are on the right hand side. You'll see that it breaks it into the different sections for you so reporting, if you click in there it gives you the advice on how you report a crime. You can click on types of fraud, prevention, the newsroom and about the, the organisation. So we'll have a quick look in here at types of fraud as well because this is really useful. So if we go into the A to Z of frauds here, you can then select it by different types. So pension fraud, bank and credit fraud, charity fraud. So if you want to just look at, at cyber fraud itself, you can just click on that. And again, it gives you a list there of all the different types of cyber fraud which they have encountered and which they are dealing with so you can then again click on anything that's read and it'll give you more information about that type of fraud. So that's a very quick look at the website, it's one which we're definitely advised to have a look at, I hope you found that useful 